Hey everyone, today I got for you a 3v3 on Mortalis. Uh, I just played this not that long ago. Uh, the multiplayer for Soulstorm is pretty active. And uh, this, is a, this is a match I just did uh, very recently. Um, so about this match, uh, this was a lot of fun. This was the most fun I had in a long time. Uh, so normally when I do a 3v3, it's with strangers. And, you know, everybody's trying to be all hardcore and outplay each other. And I thought this one was just super fun. It was great teamwork. And it was just a blast. Um, here's me playing Dark Eldar. I played Dark Eldar just so... Just to be different. You know, everybody's playing Space Marines or Imperial Guard or whatever. I'm I'm playing Dark Eldar just to be different. Um, and, and with Dark Eldar, you can have like three or four build orders. So I find Dark Eldar pretty fun. Anyways, playing on Mortalis. Um, so normally, normally in my Soulstorm videos, I explain to you what's going on. I explain to you my thought process and I explain to you what's happening right I give people tips and advice uh, but this one here this replay was just a total blast and I had a lot of fun so I think instead of giving you guys advice I'm just gonna show you this and I hope you guys have fun too so here's me uh, Dark Eldar uh, not a great spawn right next to the enemy you know, right next to the enemy player. Um, got Imperial Guard. Imperial Guard has a great spawn. You know, it's a defensive faction. And it's far away from, you know, it's far away from the enemy, right? So very good spawn here. Imperial Guard, super far away from the enemy. Um, then you got Eldar. Uh, Eldar being the best faction in the game. Um, with Eldar being the best faction in the game... Eldar can be anywhere and still win. So if Eldar, they can spawn anywhere and be fine. Um, after that, we have the enemy team. We have Chaos. Uh, it's a foreigner. I can't read. I can't read his name. So this guy's a foreigner. I can't read his name. Uh, and I played a lot of multiplayer games. And I think Soulstorm is the only one who you can't read their names. So I'm not sure how to fix that. But yeah, it still, it still pops up as squares for me. I don't know about you guys. Anyways, um, over here we have another Chaos player. Uh, v and M. And then we got Necrons. Uh, Necrons over here. So I guess I'll tell you guys now make it more interesting. Um, this Chaos player here, VNM, definitely MVP. Uh, this guy absolutely knows what he's doing. Very good player. Um, and this guy here, uh, Evagen Sinclair. This guy here was, was absolutely... This is definitely a pro player. This is 100% a professional like tournament player. He uses hotkeys and everything. This guy here is a super nerd. So this, this is a guy to watch out for. This is definitely a professional like tournament player. Um, and here's me on this side. Uh, just messing around. Um, I, like to, I like to play casually. Yeah, I'm a casual player. So you'll see a lot of mistakes from me. But these guys here. This, this Imperial Guard player here. And this Chaos player here. You'll see them sweat. They're extremely sweaty players. So, anyways, I'm going to get this thing started. It's like a 20 minute replay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, this was, I would say this. This is the most fun I had playing multiplayer in ages. I, and I play a lot of multiplayer. I play a lot of multiplayer, and this is the most fun I had in ages. So, here we go. Um... So yeah, I think I'm going to avoid uh, the whole explaining thing. 
I think a lot of you guys know how this stuff works by now. And I'm just going to tell you guys uh, which parts where I had fun. So here's me deciding on a build order. I was trying to think of an anti-chaos build order. I saw a loading screen. During the loading screen you can tell who you're up against. And I knew I was going up against double chaos. So I was like, eh, what's the double chaos uh, build order? Uh, now you might be thinking I'm going for vehicles. You might be thinking I'm going for vehicles. But I'm actually going for uh, harassment. I decided to harass uh, chaos. Chaos is kind of slow. Uh, so I said I, I'm gonna go ahead and harass him. You got this Imperial Guard player. Uh, this guy is using hotkeys and everything. Uh, super hardcore player. Oh yeah, I should mention uh, before I uh, keep going. I know I'm starting and stopping the video a lot. Um, this is something I should mention before I keep going. This guy here has about 800 uh, multiplayer games. Uh, this guy played multiplayer 800 times. Sinclair. And I think this Necron player has about 600 multiplayer games uh, played. Which is like double or triple the amount of... These guys here, this Necron player and this Imperial Guard player, I would say they have either double or triple my hours. Uh, yeah, I would say these guys have double or triple my experience or hours. I just want to throw that out there. Okay, I'm going to continue the video. Um, so what happens is uh, this whole team... Well, actually, no. Necrons decides to tech, which isn't a bad idea at all, honestly. Um, and Chaos decides to tech. I think he's already level 2, right? Yeah, he's already level 2. Chaos decides to tech. Um, this guy here goes goes for, uh, this player here decides to go for Grenade Cult. Grenade Cult is actually super strong. Uh, it's very, you want Grenade Cult when you're fighting Guard. I think Guard, if you're fighting Guard, you, you need Grenade Cult. So I think this is actually, I would say this is actually a pretty good, uh, build order. I think this is acceptable. Uh, I think Grenade Cult right now is fine. So here I decide to harass. Um, I'm still blind. I had no idea where the spawns were. I had no idea what the build orders were. You know, I'm still going around blind. Upgrade Chaos Lord. Upgrade Chaos Lord is very scary. Very, very, very scary. Upgrade a Chaos Lord can beat pretty much anything in the game. Even vehicles. So upgrade a Chaos Lord very, very scary. More harassment. Um, Necron Warriors. Uh, I should tell you guys now that there's fighting from the third minute all the way to the 20th minute. This is the hotkeys I was talking about. You can tell this guy's using hotkeys. And this is fair. Um, this is super annoying. But it's fair. Uh, anyways. There's fighting from like the third minute all the way to the 20th minute. So there's a lot of action. And I had... I just had so much fun. This was, this was the most fun I had in ages. I think I'm going to be making more uh, Dawn of War videos instead of all the other stuff because this was tons and tons of fun. Oh, this wasn't even deleted. He just lost that turret. Yeah, harassment from here. Um, I notice the quick tier 3. 
I noticed this guy was going quick to tier 3. It's actually pretty common nowadays. This is a pretty normal build order. Going straight to tier 3 with Chaos. So, I wasn't surprised by that. In my experience, I went up against this a lot of times. So, it's something I've seen before. There's a turret here. That's why I'm not uh, fighting Necrons. And the Necron Warriors uh, killed my army, if you're wondering. The Necron Warriors absolutely killed my army. Looks like Necrons is uh, tier 2. Uh, Wraiths. Wraiths are really strong. I think they're strong against any faction. Except for maybe uh, Space Rain. Space Rain can fight these Wraiths no problem. So we triple team... Uh, sorry about that. We triple team uh, this player here. Uh, You'll see my... I do I do cap this. This point. Poldas actually do crazy high uh, melee damage. So we triple team this player here. Honestly, if you got his grenade, uh, his grenade cult going up, if you got, if you got his grenade cult uh, going, he might have survived this. Grenade cult is actually really, really strong. Here I uh, build up enough courage to take out this turret. Uh, Dark Elder units uh, die like flies. So any turret of any kind is a huge threat. So now we're bowling uh, Necrons. I notice he's tier 2. Uh, but with the Psyker, with the Psyker here we should be fine. If he makes a vehicle, we can we can psyker it. We should be okay. Oh yeah, and I decided to go for uh, splinter rifles. That's my build order. I do a full splinter rifle. Uh, splinter splinter rifle spam. That was my build order. Here's a uh, quick tier three. Um, you have more money on this map than most maps. So this is actually. I would say this is actually a pretty easy build order. With all the money you have. So yeah, you got possessed ones at seven minutes. Obliterators. And this guy actually uh, reinforced before he attacked, which you don't see too often. Try and bully this player here, just so he doesn't, just so he doesn't become a threat later. I'm actually surprised this guy didn't quit. Usually people quit at this moment. Here I get harassed. Um, this is why I'm not a huge fan of the spawn. And I didn't upgrade these listening points because I thought uh, Necrons would take it out. I thought for sure Necrons would take these listening points out. 86 to 20 though, not bad, right? So here we got uh, tier 2 Necrons and tier 3 Chaos attacking me. I think I'm actually uh, tier 1. I'm pretty sure I'm tier 1 Dark Elder. Tier 1, tier one Dark Elder is still scary. Harlequin, so uh, Eldar is tier 2. And I believe I heard the Psyker do the uh, morale ability, lightning strike. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Imperial Guard is tier 2. And I'll say this, this Imperial Guard player has the biggest balls. Look at that. Basilisk like two inches away from the enemy. This Imperial Guard player has the biggest balls I've ever seen. All the possessed ones have to do is just hit this once. And, and it's just, and it's destroyed. That's all. That's all. Possessed ones have to do. Destroy, hit it once, it's, and it's down. So the amount of balls you have to have to do that is crazy. I think this is the second generator. Yeah, 
So that's two generators down. Horrors. Horrors are actually really good right now. Humunculus. Hum Humunculus is just a cheap uh, commander. Dirt cheap commander. Immortals. Immortals are one of the best units in the game, I think. Command squad. Again, uh, this Imperial Guard player has a... I would say he has the world's biggest balls. I, I would never ever do this. I would never ever ever do this. All you need is like one squad of raptors. One squad of raptors is all you need to take this out. Here I um, try to tie up these immortals. I would say Humunculus is uh, Close range damage is actually better than the long range damage. So I, I usually uh, put the homunculus in melee stance. And you can see, even when being attacked, Necrons is still teching. These guys, these guys will just not stop. They will, they will not stop teching. Triple Basilisk is... I would never ever do Triple Basilisk. It doesn't matter what map it is. It doesn't matter what game mode it is. I would never ever do triple basilisk. So I just, that just goes to show you how confident this guy is. Command squad survives somehow. I have n no idea. Now he's just being... Oh, I see. He's trying to get vision. He's trying to get vision of the buildings. I, I, I see what he's doing now. Um, so I'm still trying to recover. Um, a lot of people died in this fight, so I decided to get some souls. I got 100 souls out of that Six fight. Until so taken so actually victory. not bad. Decap the relic. Decapping the Necron relic is huge. Yeah, it looks like all the relics are decapped. It's not over yet. We still got like another 10 minutes. So they're not out of the game. We do have a economy advantage. I still think I'm I'm tier one, right? No, I'm just I'm just now tier two. So a 12 minute tier two. Again, all you need is one squad of raptors. That's it. One squad of raptors and you're good to go. The amount of confidence you need to pull this off is crazy. I soul zap the sorcerer. Uh, sorcerer still ends up being a huge threat, which I didn't expect. Usually the sorcerer dies instantly, but you'll see here in a minute that... See, this chaos player is still a threat, even after all the harassment we did. We, we did try to take this player out, but we couldn't do it. This was actually really smart. Rhino and uh, putting possessed ones in the Rhino. Then you got War of Spiders. Uh, I would say War of Spiders are only good until they get upgrades. You really need to upgrade these War of Spiders for them to be good. So you can see here, we're really trying to take this guy out, but he's actually, he's actually got a pretty solid defense. He's got like no economy, and he's got a solid defense. Four minutes until triple uh, Ray Fords, pretty common. Uh, that was a triple uh, Earth Earthshake. Yeah, that was a triple Earthshake right there. You don't see triple earthshake too often. I have no idea how these basilisks are alive. You've seen the uh, heavy weapon teams get destroyed. Oh yeah, splinter rifles are actually great against everything, even rhinos. So I'm, I'm going to use a splinter rifle against this rhino here. And then I lose my army because splinter rifles are good, but they can't kill the best ones.
Yeah, the sorcerer an actually ends up being a huge pain. I thought I'd be able to like one shot him, but nope. See, honestly, really solid defense in this guy. I actually had a really hard time breaking that defense. Nice Hell Talon. Respect to this guy for leaving the base. Most people don't even leave their base. Okay, at this point forward, it's really up to Necrons. Necrons has to come and save the day. I think Necrons have like two or three kills. Oh yeah, I make a raider to deal with the defiler. Yeah, Necron really needs to come in and do something. Two minutes until taken. Finally, the basilisks are being uh, taken down. Okay, now you got Pariahs. I think I'm still tier two. So I'm tier 2 and everybody's tier 3 or, or higher. Surprise against... I was actually surprised. This one spot of prize uh, tore right through my warriors like nothing. And this is a real... Uh, I double checked. This is a real monolith. I watched this replay a couple times. This is a real monolith. You can't take a player out. I don't think you can take a player out with just the monolith. You need something else to support you. You need the monolith and something else to take out a player. One minute until taken hold victory. Very nice uh, predator. Oh yeah, this guy gets uh Basilisk to death. Really, really nice Predator. I actually think the Predator is a really good vehicle. Thirty seconds until taken hold. Really nice decap over here too. Really solid decap. This Predator should tear right through the commander. So the player with like uh, six hundred, yeah. The player of 600 games uh, left. Now it's a 2v3. Um, I survived a monolith and possessed ones and pariahs. So it's going to take me a minute to recover. Uh, my army my army sucks right now, to be honest with you. My army sucks. And I built these uh, buildings to try and tr uh, trap the possessed ones. I was trying to trap them inside my base. That didn't work. This guy here is just earth shaking nonstop. Uh, he ac he actually has this Imperial Guard player has triple my resources. So there's uh, Eldar tier four. Uh, I went tier four on this map, and it's actually like pretty easy. So this is this is not hard. Going tier four on this map is pretty easy. That's another triple earth shake. Um, yeah, all this is going down pretty much instantly. If this predator was upgraded, all this would be destroyed, 100%. What I end up doing is capping these points, and I cap the middle. So try and be a team player. And I try capping these points so the enemy team can run over here and capture it. I try to deny this area for the enemy. See, he's still earth shaking. That's another triple earth shake. That's like the 10th or 11th earth shake. Those are not cheap. Wow, these warp spiders are going down like crazy. Hey, warp spiders, yeah, one spot of warp spiders dead. 
They're going down pretty fast. They must not be upgraded. They're going down like instantly. Six minutes until Double Predator and Zest ones. Pretty this guy actually went tier three with like no economy. I respect this guy a lot, to be honest with you. I highly respect this chaos player. Um, and yeah. Uh, honestly, if that guy pulled off the grenade cult, uh, we would have been in trouble, for sure. Yeah, full tier 4 army. Um, I think the Bane Blade was like... Let me check. Okay, he's not even making the Bane Blade, but he could have. He spent, like, 3,000 resources. This guy spent 3,000 resources on Earthshakes. Um, and yeah, that's the game. That was the most fun I had in ages. I'll probably be making more videos like these. These were super fun. And yeah. Um, still capturing the map. I have like 20 listening posts. And I still have less... Uh, even with 20 listening posts, I have less economy than the other players, which is pretty crazy. I have less economy than this guy, and I have less economy than this guy. And that's with more listening posts. It's pretty nuts. I think I'm still uh, tier 2. Pretty sure I'm still tier 2, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm tier 2. I never went tier 3. Um, I had, I had the, I could, I could go tier three. If this went on for another, like, if this match kept going, I could have been tier three. But yeah, um, pretty cool. Had some scourges. Um, yeah, just, just a ton of earth shakes, a ton of chaos, a lot of abilities were being used, uh, doom bolt. Uh, the, the command squad abilities. Just a super fun. I, this was a super fun. Uh, oh, was there cultists here? Or no, that's warp spiders. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's warp spiders. I don't think that's cultists. Yeah, so I guess all the warp spiders died. They must not have been upgraded. Um. Yeah, I had a, I had a really fun time uh, playing this, uh, and seeing these basilisks like two inches away from their base made me laugh. So just a super super fun time. I really I really like these guys' uh, playstyle. I'm a huge fan of these guys' playstyle. I would never I would never in a million years uh, play like these guys. Anyways, uh, I think that's it. I'll show you the end screen. Uh, I'll show you the resource difference. So I had uh, 14,000 resources and I was uh, tier 2, pretty sure. Um, I spent pretty much every point on warriors. Uh, 16,000 for the Eldar. It's a little bit better. Almost 17,000. And then you can see here guard had, you can see guard resources was through the roof. And uh, I have 14,000 resources and that's with me controlling the map, which is pretty crazy. That's how far behind I was. Um, Chaos and me actually had around the same amount of resources. So that's pretty close. Um, Necrons, 13,000 is actually pretty low. I would say 13,000 is pretty low for Necrons. You probably uh, skip the economy upgrade just so you can get the monolith up faster. And fast monolith is actually not a bad strategy. It's it's really not a bad strategy. If you're going up, if you're going up against uh, if you're going up against a full tier one army, the monolith absolutely destroys it. Say it's a full tier one space marine. Or full tier one, uh, like sisters, 
the monolith absolutely destroys that entire army. So it's not a bad it's not a bad strategy. Uh, then you got chaos with twelve. Um, that's kind of sad. The guy who had no listening points for the whole game had pretty much the same economy as me, which is pretty sad. I mean, I got attacked a lot. I got attacked like three or four times. But yeah, me and the guy who had no listening points had about the same amount of economy. Uh, we can go for kills, but I think you guys know. Um, 80 kills. That's probably just the Earthshake rounds. So 80 kills there. Uh, Eldar of 74. Sorry. Eldar of 74 kills. Uh, me of 68. Um, I still went negative. I think the Pry has uh, killed my army. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Pry has killed my army and the, and the possessed ones. Um, I have no answer. I, I actually had zero answers for the for the possessed ones. Uh, 62 to 100. Um, this guy here was actually the only one really trying. Uh, this player here, I think he was the only one really, really trying. Uh, Necron player, Necron player, 32 kills with basically no army. That's actually not bad. That's more than I thought. He had no army. He still had 32 kills. Uh, the guy with no economy actually had the most kills. That's funny. The guy with no economy had the most kills. That's crazy. But yeah, I really enjoyed this match. I think I want to watch it two or three times. It, it was just super, super fun. I thought this match was a total blast. And you'll probably uh, see more videos like this. I had, I had a total blast doing this. Um, and yeah, that's the end of that. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, bye.